Insta, you suck. What kind of crap is that? So Amazon, you suck too. Those paid sponsors, I don't know what y'all getting paid, but trash. And you telling me I got something that does not work straight out the box. It did not work from day one. I just got back from a trip. I got some cameras in my hand. Yes, I'm talking about cameras today. So you can't vlog if the cameras don't work. Plain and simple. Uh, I picked up this Insta360 Go 3 thinking, you know, it's the third generation. Third generation, you would think it would be good. Insta, you suck. So the 20 hours of videos or plus I probably watch on this camera, I do research before I purchase something and I did not see or did not know that it sucked as bad as it did. I've had it for about a month already. I've been in talks through email with Insta's tech team, but one thing I realized those paid sponsors, they do not tell you the truth. And the truth is, if I would have, I, I did more research after the fact, after I realized what the problems were, but if I would have known before, I would not have spent my money. So I would say it is a waste of almost $450. Yes, $450. So I just got back from a trip and I wasn't able to use the camera and I'm glad I had my pocket three and I also had another backup camera. But if I could do it again, I would keep my $450. The concept is cool. The small pot on the camera is cool. But all the videos that I watched, not one said that I was going to come across this problem. After doing research on Google, after going on Reddit, after doing other research, I realized I was not the only one. And most of it was from the third gen camera. So the pod itself, if you try to turn it on, it'll choose when it comes on. If you separate the camera from the pod, the camera come on, the camera never had an issue coming on. But when it comes to the pod and trying to turn the screen on, nope. But when it did decide to come on, half of the information will come on and you still will not see what the camera is viewing. So when I reached out to the tech team, I explained to them what I was dealing with. First off, backtrack. I, the research I've done, they said do hard resets. I've done that. Nothing, still issues. And after reaching out to the tech team, I said, hey, this is the problem I'm having. They sent me back a list of things to troubleshoot. And one, it was it was kind of insulting. I'm like, what is this? So it was I was reading and saying, hey, did you take the plastic off the, you know, the connections to connect to the pod? I'm like, well, if I'm spending four hundred and fifty dollars on a camera, I would think that I would know to take some damn plastic off. I mean, come on, for real. So. It said to hard set. It said to do some other things. It still didn't work. So they finally sent me another email saying, update the firmware. This is a brand new camera. I installed the firmware when I got it initially, but and it, and it showed that was the latest firmware. So they showed me the process. They told me to go on there, copy and paste the firmware into the folder, turn it on, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. The camera came on and I said, you know what? Let me hold off on responding to that tech email. Let me give it a couple days, turn it off and on. But surprisingly, days later, I tried to turn it back on. The camera won't come on at all. Yes. So $450 brick. Guess what it is right now? Uh, ain't worth crap and I can hold the power button down forever nothing I can hold it down and a green light will come on as if it's trying to start 
nothing. So now the camera isn't coming on at all. And when I say all those videos praising and making the Insta360 look great, my month experience with this camera has been horrible. I just got back from another country and I'm glad I brought additional cameras because that trip would have been a failure. Hey, I'm not a paid sponsor. I mean, this is an early video. I know, or I hope once I get to that, and I will, I will speak the truth. So all those million videos I watched, y'all suck. I'm deciding heavily on what I'm gonna do with it. If it's trash, I'm gonna treat it like trash. But also, I went on Amazon because that's where I purchased it from. And you're talking tech, you spend almost $500 on something, you would think that you have a warranty or some type of an exchange. So I went on there, I went through the process, and as I'm going through the steps, I, I, I just wanted to exchange it. You know, I figured, let me give it another chance. It might be a defect. It might be, I don't, who knows what. After I done what I done, and I still can't figure out, let me just get another one and try it. Before I made this video. So I went through the steps on Amazon return, and I'm reading through this, and it says, I might get a partial refund or no refund. There was no options to exchange it or replace it. So $500 of my money and you telling me I got something that does not work straight out the box. It did not work from day one. And you telling me you don't know at all if it's going to be a full refund, partial or no refund. What kind of crap is that? So Amazon, you suck too. Insta360, suck. Oh, let me just say, DJI, this Pocket 3, it worked out the box. It's great, I enjoy it. Great camera, gimbal, all, everything you need. So I will be buying another one. And me investing into spending any more money on Insta, Man, hey, those paid sponsors, I don't know what y'all getting paid, but trash.